things to mention to you. Um, taking freebies should be a crime, according to Lord Sicker, who's a Labour uh, peer, apparently, which is an interesting one, after we got Peter Kyle, uh, yet another Cabinet Minister, admitting overnight that he too took Taylor Swift tickets. I mean, this story just gets more and more ridiculous with every day that passes. But I suppose more importantly for those of us who care about how much tax we're going to be paying, um, Labour's poll tax, the Institute of Directors, is having a go at Rachel Reeves, saying that uh, if they do put national insurance up for employers, it'll be be a disaster could be their poll tax moment well i think it's a very high risk policy for a government that has come to power on a manifesto that said specifically that they weren't going to do this i mean in the run-up to the election they repeatedly said that they won't be raising national insurance mm. contributions and now they're saying oh but guys you didn't check the small print you know it's print that we didn't actually publish but you know maybe you should have used your imagination to work out that there are two types of national insurance contributions and mm. one is on employers and one is on workers and actually when we said we weren't going to raise it we meant we're only not going to raise some of it and we're actually going to uh, increase it on employers as if those two things are totally separate you know as if raising the cost of employing people for bosses doesn't actually affect the decisions they make about the wages that mm. they pay and how many people they hire i mean this is just kind of childish stuff isn't yeah. it you know, to think that those two things aren't connected and that somehow it's okay to hammer in quotes evil bosses mm. uh, and the workers will still benefit that's just not how life and real business works there is some positive news uh, or at least mood music in uh, pre-briefing and, and speculation ahead of the budget in that it appears that the treasury is has persuaded uh, the chancellor to pull back from the idea of increasing capital gains tax on the sale of second homes mm. and that affects far more people than you than you might imagine these aren't necessarily properties that people have just as holiday homes you know they might be for example family properties maybe people have inherited something a cottage here or there that they've kept and they've rented it out you know a lot of people do have more than one way or another more than one property and it might be a business that they that they're trying to keep afloat as mm. despite the government continually putting on more regulation on renting out homes so that i think is potentially very good news um although let's not get too celebratory because it's merely the absence of something worse rather than anything particularly good well quite because the times have got that on the front page this morning saying that she's going to use the budget to increase capital gains tax on other things not homes but sale of shares and other assets which could be any number of things really couldn't it yeah, I mean, there was actually a real concern, and I, I did think this would have been complete lunacy, that they were going to put capital gains tax on the sale of people's main residences. Yes. And that would have been, I think that would have been catastrophic, and that would have been the poll tax moment, because, you know, many, many people have a home that they at some point will want to move on from, whether right. it's downsizing or whatever. They're not doing that by the sounds of things. If they do, that would be an absolute bombshell. It appears that they're targeting the sale of shares, which accounts for about half of all capital gains um, affected transactions and probably does take it out of the kind of category of, uh, of, of affecting most ordinary voters, if you like. But I think there are going to be a, a bunch of other horrors in this budget. Mm. You know, it's not like they haven't they haven't sort of said otherwise you know they are basically saying you know we've got this completely made up 20 billion mm. black or is it 40 billion which we need to to plug um, and so i think they're going to be a whole all manner of nasty things in this budget that affect basically each and every one yeah. of us and i find it odd that they're going on about you know otherwise we'll have an era of austerity um you know i i don't really know what this is of, in terms of how most working people feel if it's not pretty austere you know most working people are feeling that they have to work ever ever harder just to stand yeah. still at the point yeah absolutely right isabel great to talk to you thank you very much indeed we've got to run isabel oakshot talks international editor there with her take on uh, exactly what the budget will bring uh